Hello, good afternoon. Sana po nabusog kayo. Okay po ba? Nag <laughs> so, aside po from SIRP, meron pa po tayong ibang mga databases na um, ginagamit or at minamaintain po ng PIDS. And to know more about these knowledge portals, uh, which are the Economic and Social Database and GIS-based Philippine Socioeconomic Profile, uh, let me call Ms. Blesila Dato Mondes, uh, Dr. Aubrey Tabuga, and Mr. Arkin Arboneta from the Research Department of PIDS. Thank you. Magandang hapon po. Sige. So, i-introduce ko lang yung magde-demonstrate later on, but I'll just provide a quick um, brief background of the Economic and Social Database. It's actually old na siya. Maybe hindi na siya introduction sa iba. You might have encountered this in the past. But it started in 1995 and we called it um, Database Information Resource Program. Yung tawag namin DERP. And there, there were like, I, I think, two improvements already. So yung papakita namin is 3.0 na siya. But um, next year, we will improve it ulit to improve the front end and to expand the database in terms of dun sa indicators na, sinasa na sinasama dun sa uh, database. So basically, the purpose of the economic and social database is to make the process of research simpler and uh, less complicated by providing information, yung data na long series, long yung time series, especially for researchers, because what what the what most uh, economic uh, sorry um, government agencies and they produce ng economic and social database, what they do is they provide usually most recent lang recent data like the, the past five years and then yung lahat ng disaggregations. But what PIDS does is to, is to collate, um, compile all this and present them in a very long series as, as much as we can. Kasi minsan may mga break, so in, yun, ninonote lang namin siya if there are breaks in the series. But basically, uh, we want to provide um, researchers, students, um, stakeholders, uh, policy makers, and their technical staff yung the, the longest series possible na nandun. Like the national income accounts, um, it spans from like 1940s up to the present. So dapat, yun, yun yung pinapakita namin dun. Kasi we want to show you, we, we want you to, to be able to look at yung the long trends and so that you can incorporate them in your statistical analysis, like time series analysis, regression analysis, you would need the long series. And yung disaggregations din nun, nakasama dun, unlike dun sa mga data producers natin, they only highlight kung ano yung mga, yung mga highlights dun sa mga reports nila on their websites. So that's the economic and social database. And there are two parts, um, the economic and social indicators and the geographic information systems database. So, yung, e yung economic and social indicators, siya yung the usual tab table format that you can download as Excel, Excel uh, for formats that you can, you can put in your databases also. Yung isa is G GIS. So, it's, it's a more interesting way of presenting data because it's in maps. For policy makers, you can use them. Kasi ano siya, color-coded siya. So if it's poverty, we, we use color codes. The red is for yung medyo, medyo uh, worse siya than the national average. And then yung green, yung better than the national average. So may mga legends kami ganun. So we present, we present poverty indicators, um, other social indicators uh, through maps. So usually we have regional maps, we have provincial maps, and, and in some, ano, I think in some indicators, we have even barangay level, yung, yung munisipyo, na, na ano siya, yung map niya by barangay, sandun siya, and then you can, you can uh, make, um, uh, uh, you can get them actually and present them to policymakers if, if you need them. Because you can just uh, right click or print screen yung mga maps na yun. So, um, Later on, there will be C.C. Arkin Arboneda, yung aming research specialist. He'll present the economic and social indicator. C. Bless Mondes will present the GIS database. But it's very interesting um, that we, are, we have a current initiative kasi 
to overlay our our maps, the socio-economic maps, with some physical maps like yung hazard maps, so so that um, we can have sort of ano siya, uh, uh, we have a way to assess yung mga disaster risks na yung yung population on the disaster prone areas, and in that way we can make at the local level you can you can have more ano ba yun? you you are able to get important data in terms for instance eto yung mga high vulnerable areas eto yung high risk of flooding eto yung low risk and so kapag para may event na may ganun you know what you need in terms of managing the risks sa disasters so yun yung major recent initiative namin pero they will explain further on that so i'll call arkin first Ayan. So, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, I will be discussing the economic and social database and its features po. So, meron na po ba sa inyo na aware or nakagamit na nung PIDS economic and social database? <laughs> so, ayan po. So, a brief background on the database. Uh, yung EST po contains various Philippine economic and social indicators, both in national and sub-national data, and available po yung data in long time series for some indicators. So it was established in 1995. Uh, Nag-start po siya as an in-house project uh, led by Dr. Celia Reyes. Uh, it was started as a as part of the PIDS's uh, policy research strategy and its mandate to be the re a repository of, eco of economic research information. So to access the database, uh, you can go to econdb.pids.gov.ph. So as you can see po, yung economic and social database ng PIDS has uh, various indicators. Uh, for the key indicators, ito po ay consolidation ng selected economic indicators that can serve as an overview of the Philippine economic landscape throughout the years. Uh, under economic statistics, uh, data includes uh, balance of payments, national and regional income accounts, uh, ano po? economic, uh, exchange rate data, uh, social market, uh, stock market indices, price indices, labor and employment, among others. For the under social statistics, we have health, uh, included po dito ang infant mortality ratio, prevalence of malnutrition, among others. Uh, population census data by province. Uh, education includes uh, net enrollment rate, completion, cohort survival, and dropout rates. Then we also have uh, monthly crime data po from PNP. The database also has a community-based monitoring system data for selected provinces. CBN. Uh, latest addition po to the database is yung congressional district level data, which we have computed based on the composition of legislative districts as of May 2016 national and local elections. Ayan. So for this afternoon po, um, magde-demo po tayo ng main features ng website using yung national income accounts natin. Uh, so yung national income accounts data po is located under economic statistics. Then national income accounts. Yan. Paklik po noong... Yan. Sige. Sige po. Yan, as you can see po, yung national income accounts natin na available is on a quarterly time series. So users can download yung indicators natin and save as spreadsheet or uh, Excel CSV format. Ganyan. Click lang po yung save to Excel. Then users can also do simple calculations and post estimation within the website. 
So, for instance po, we want a national estimates ng national income accounts natin. Since quarterly po yung available data and annual estimates is computed as the sum of the four quarters, uh, we would want to add. So, operation po is total. Frequency should be annual. Then, halimbawa po, we would like to get a percent share no industries to GDP. So, yun. Post-processing is percent share, then uh, GDP. Then, start processing po. <laughs> Sige po. Sige, okay na yan. Ayan. Okay ba ba po? Ayan. So, mag a output po ng table na annual estimates then yung may another table pa na which is yung ano yung percent share data ayan yan po uh, kung napapansin niyo po merong create chart type sa ngayon po kasi ay work in progress pa lang siya uh, kasi uh, there are current initiatives naman po para madagdagan ng indicators and ma Ma magkaroon ng more user-friendly interface yung website. So, ayun po. For the geographic information systems naman po, I'm calling Ms. Blisela Mondes. Hello, good afternoon po. Uh, yeah. oh. uh, uh, I'm pretending to you GIS. Uh, the, the PIDN began its involvement in the GIS uh, in August 1999. Uh, uh, it provides a unique way of viewing and an analyzing major link by pretending in, in a geographical format. It can be accessed by a PIDN website. Here's our, yeah. So, yeah, ito po yung ping namin ng GIS. We have economic indicators, demographic indicators, poverty, housing, and being American. Um, we also have other indicators like um, health, uh, TBMS, uh, down to barangay level. We also have um, uh, IRA. Internal revenue allotment and other indicators. We have a sample uh, map here. Poverty indicator, poverty in the end. Uh, map on King Todd, yung kanaming inkinkor na po. GRDE, meron po kaming GRDE dyan. Map, the color, uh, full color map, real pattern and relationship that allow user for data to view information in a new perspective. Uh, the map are color coded to show the relative performance of a province uh, to other province or region. Uh, there are basically Two color views, green and red. The color green is to show a good performance, which is determined by ratio that is equivalent to or better than the national average. Uh, the color red is to you know, a performance that is below the national average. Uh, the dark green is used to indicate a relatively better, and dark red relatively worse. Um, yes, lighter shade indicate lower poverty incident than in those area. Uh, um, yung, ang, 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 ano po, uh, yung arm, kung makikita nyo, uh, red, uh, dark red, mean, na, uh, nag-perform ka ng, uh, I mean, worse ang kanyang performance. Okay, as we go to the grad, uh, gradient, dark green to dark red, poverty incident, uh, increase. Okay. Uh, 
Inang Name Program. Uh, we are uh, currently working with Inang Name Program. Uh, in tool, uh, or EIN that allows the cancer managers to do better planning for the cancer. In tool to understand what the potential impact of the cancer will be. Uh, the underlying goal of Inang Name is to encourage and facilitate better planning, uh, planning for the cancer. Uh, we started with Valer Aurora. Yes. Yes. We created an overlay population data and hazard information. Uh, the, purpose, the purpose is to come up with estimates of population that are highly vulnerable to planning and to show the composition of that population so that we can identify the need in case of evacuation. Ah, uh, kung makikita nyo po yung uh, red, uh, orange, and yellow, uh, yung red po, ano yun, um, moon, highly vulnerable po siya, yung, yung area. Hmm. Next. Ito po yung rental nung ito yung rental po nung niran po namin yung 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 hangard with the with the maler ma maler in uh, ngayon ah yeah. uh, ang affected po ang affected po na maler area po ay 7 out ng 300 Nakikita nyo po yung red, uh, yung po yung highly vulnerable. Um, okay, yung, yung orange po, yung, yung medium, vulnerable, and the low, and the yellow one. Actually, po yung inakay po ng tool para po mag-determine natin kung ano po yung kailangan po yung ito uh, yung kalamit ng cancer meron sila ang inakay po ni determine niya po kung uh, uh, how many uh, or ano pong naano yung amount ng mga ng ng kailangan ng supply needed or sa mga 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 victim po ng kalamit mga kalamidad Thank you. So yun po yung current initiative. Um, we hope to launch this in 2019 para makover pa ba yung ibang, ibang LGUs na pwede. By the way, we are getting the data from MGB, MGB and then we are using data from the CBMS. Kasi yung location ng household. Nakita nyo doon, kita nyo kung may pregnant, may... So this is 2017 data, so by now yung pregnant, naganak na siya. Dadagdag natin doon sa number ng children. And then in the evacuation, you would know ilang cans of milk, possibly, you know, yung needs ng mga matatanda, ilan yung matatanda doon sa, sa area na yun na maapektuhan. So it's, it's something that's very useful, I think, for planners in the... Especially napaka ano natin disaster prone. So yun po yung mini build up namin ngayon. So that's all for the economic and social database. Thank you. Thank you po sa uh, th sa team. And next uh, to present about the PIDS corner is our li sole librarian, Miss Clarissa Lagoras Single. <laughs> Sabi mo. <laughs> Magandang hapon po. Okay pa po ba ang lahat? Medyo mahaba pa po ang hapon. So, um, magandang hapon po ulit. So, ayan. So, nakuha na po namin ang inyong atensyon. Yun lang naman din po yung gusto natin para makinig po tayo. So, this afternoon po, I will be... Ano ba? Dito ba? So, this afternoon po, I will be... Um, presenting to you the PIDS Corner, Making Research More Accessible. So, ay, ko ba? Okay, okay. 
So what are PIDS Corners? Ay, before we proceed po pala, uh, I believe meron po tayo dito mga participants na meron pong PIDS, PIDS Corner po sa kanilang mga... Sino po kaya ang uh, mga... Ayan, welcome po. Sana po ay makausap po kayo mamaya. <laughs> meron po tayong submission of reports. So... Um, for others po na hindi pa aware, what are PIDS Corners? So PIDS Corner um, is one of the research dissemination strategies of PIDS that aims to make the results and recommendations of its research outputs more visible and accessible at the local and community levels. Um, its primary objective is to provide reading and research materials on development related concerns to as many readers as Possible. PIDS recognizes the fact that despite the advent of modern information and communication te technology in the country, especially the web and the internet, it is still useful to combine them with the presence of printed copies of research materials that can easily, that can easily be accessed by students, faculty, employees, and other stakeholders in the locality. So, PIDS corners are located in various local sponsored um, libraries or knowledge centers and university-based libraries nationwide. Each PIDS corner is allocated a section in the containing various PIDS publications that the Institute has produced through the years. Um, PIDS Corner received more than one copy of printed um, PIDS publication. Po. So this is one of the benefits, benefits of having... <laughs> PIDS, ay, PIDS Corners po in your library. Next slide, please. Yes. So, since 2006, po, um, PIDS has already set up 25 PIDS corners all over the country. 13 of which po are in Luzon, 6 in the Visayas, and 6 in Mindanao. So, as you can see, po, well distributed po yung mga locations po ng ating PIDS corners. So, how are PIDS corners established? So PIDS selects the, the location of possible PIDS corners. Initially, PIDS targeted to set up one PIDS corner for each region. The presence of prospective users as well as the demand for research materials is also taken into account when, des when deciding the location. Um, PIDS also envisions the corners as links between local libraries. They can be tapped as partners for various uh, dissemination activities of the institute in the regions. Um, in setting up a PIDS corner, a memorandum of understanding or MOU is, is executed between the PIDS corner recipient and the PIDS. Um, the MOU defines, among others, the obligations of both PIDS and the PIDS corner hosts. Monitoring po is also being done para po malaman natin kung okay pa po ba yung corner natin. And we also request po the PIDS corners to submit annual statistics or, or the usage po ng mga materials natin doon sa corner natin. Um, so here are some photos po of our PIDS corners. Po, this one po is the first PIDS corner at Bohol Provincial Library and Information Center. This was established po on July 2006. Next one po is from Central Luzon State University. Um, as you can see po, uh, meron po tayong MOA signing during the inauguration of the PIDS corner. CS CLSU po ay the 21st PIDS corner and it was established in December of 2012. Next one po is 
um, from Western Mindanao State University, Sambuanga City Campus. Um, this was inaugurated on July 2013. And uh, recent, uh, last year po, we um, inaugurated the 25th um, PIDS Corner at Sorsogon State College po. Um, that would be all po. Ay, makikita niyo po yung mga iba pa pong PIDS Corner sa website po namin. That would be all po. Thank you po. So, si Clarice po ay single. Ah, ito na nasa pinagbibili na po namin yung libre. <laughs> Okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, so we can now proceed to the second part of our uh, meeting. No, so as for our program, we will have first the pre uh, the report on uh, SERPI related accomplishments and activities of net network members. So, how many presenters do, do we have, uh, Jess? So we have 11 presenters. Okay. Just would you like to understand? Hello, good afternoon. So the first to present po is from the University of San Carlos. Okay, good afternoon to each and everyone. Uh, may I present to you the accomplishments